Aloha, welcome. Thank you for joining me today on today's live stream. Uh, today is Monday. I want to say it's the 22nd, but I'm truly not quite sure. And it is 2 o'clock in the afternoon here in Hawaii, 5 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and 10 a.m. in Australia. So I'm so happy to be coming to you live from Facebook's live streaming platform. This service has served us quite well. And today it will give me an opportunity to share with you the power and the significance of the fifth soul house. My name is Master Paul Fletcher and I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha. And being a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Sha is a very important uh, role for humanity. As a student of Dr. and Master Sha, when I first started with him seven or eight years ago, I heard him repeat wisdom and information that I had been uh, blessed to hear early on in my spiritual journey. And the unique thing about this teacher is that he was able to take what I had learned and what many people had learned, um, soul power, mind power, body power, sound power, all these different manifestation principles, different spiritual principles, and he, he gave me tools to bring it to life, to apply it to my life. And so today, uh, we're going to be working with the fifth soul house, which is also known as the fifth chakra or the throat chakra. So welcome, Allison. Great to see you. Welcome, Yvonne. Great to see you. Uh, Carrie, thank you for joining, Carrie. Great to see you as well, Stephanie. <coughs> and uh, so we'll keep uh, chatting as others start to join. And so it actually uh, was quite a long journey to get to the, to the position of being called a master in Dr. Shah's organization. It's truly just a label. It doesn't mean anything. It's certainly a, just an opportunity for me to be uh, more low and more humble and a better servant. But what also comes with it is a lot of responsibility. And that includes helping people to move along their soul journey and to clear what is what we are taught is what's called Shen, Qi, and Jing. Shen is spelled S-H-E-N. Qi is C-H-I or Q-I. You've heard of Qi energy, Qi gong, things like that. And then Jing, J-I-N-G. Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages is terminology that Master Shah has brought forth to humanity. And what he's referring to is the way in which we have Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages in our body, in our organs, our systems, <coughs> and in our seven soul houses. So welcome, Jennifer. Great to see you. Um, so if you have not seen the previous episodes, for the first, second, third, and fourth soul houses, do recommend you go back to um, to my web, uh, excuse me, my uh, Facebook page, and go to the area. There's a couple tabs just below the main photo, and one of them is called About. And you scroll down a little bit, and you'll see videos, and that's where all of the past videos are kept. Each one of the soul houses has a significant and important role in our health and well-being. So to recap, while other people are joining, the first soul house, I have a sneeze coming on. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. The first soul house is um, related to many things, including our relationships. There is some financial uh, structure there. It's very much associated to addictions and uh, any of the organs in the lower part of the body, including all the sexual organs, the bladder, uh, the first soul house is also con considered the, the first gear of the whole body. And when I went through and offered the teachings through Master Shah's Tao Song Tao Dance book, he spoke quite a bit about it as the gear at the bottom of the sea. I cannot uh, remember the Chinese Mandarin Chinese translation at this moment. But it's been called that, the gear at the bottom of the sea, for centuries, for uh, 5,000 years. So... Um, well over 5,000 years of documented, hist documented history of the nature of the seven chakras, what Master Shah refers to as the seven soul houses. 
uh, when we empower the first gear, think of it like the biggest gear and all the other uh, gears connect to it, you know? So when you're rolling one gear to the next, the biggest gear is what moves the smaller ones. So that's why the first soul house is so powerful. The second soul house is very related to the health and well-being of our large intestine and the entire uh, lower abdomen. It is also related to one of the major energy centers known as the lower Dan Tien. Uh, all the energy centers, with the exception of the third eye, sixth soul house, are fist-sized, um, so the size of your fist, and they sit uh, basically in the center of your body. So the second soul house is a foundational energy center. When we boost power to it every day, we're boosting our vitality, our stamina, our immunity. So I'm going to stop for a moment and acknowledge um, Emily, thank you for joining us, Patricia Dickinson, Johnny, great to see you, Anne-Marie and Monica, thank you all very much for joining. The third soul house, as we discussed, is related to the wood element and the water element, which, uh, directly speaking, is the liver and the kidney and all the associations with that. For example, the water element has associations to the ears, the bones, has associations, when we strengthen that, it's associated to brain and brain intelligence. There are uh, the emotion of fear is associated with the water element. You look at the liver, or the wood element, excuse me, which is the liver, and that has associations of the emotion of anger, and it's also directly related to <coughs> the, uh, the yang organ of the gallbladder, and it has uh, impacts to other body parts, including our eyes. There's so many uh, associations amongst the elements. So when we boost power to each soul house, you can start to see how it impacts organs and systems and entire aspects of the body. What Master Shah has brought to us through these teachings is the nature of the soul houses, the seven chakras, and how they bring uh, either ill health or wonderful health to us. Each of the soul houses can carry a significant amount of Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages. So the Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages, as a quick reminder, the Shen is soul, heart, mind, uh, and in that order, qi, uh, qi is energy and Jing is a matter. Soul, heart, mind, energy, matter. Give the soul a new message. The heart loves the new message from the soul. It gives the mind an order. The mind gives the energy an order. The energy tells the matter what to do. <clears throat> so when we do things in this order, we can directly transform the blockages in our body. <clears throat> Welcome, um, Anishka. Thank you for joining today. So, Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages, uh, literally every human has them. Another simple term that everybody knows is karma. But what is karma? Karma is soul, heart, mind blockages, Shen. Karma is energy blockages. Karma is matter blockages. And so we can have emotional blockages, which are impacting our soul, our heart, our mind, our energy, and our matter. We think it's just the emotions, but what is the source of those emotions? The fourth soul house talked a lot about being the emotional center for love, forgiveness, compassion, light. It's the enlightenment center. It's such an important center for connecting to heaven. And so there's so many deep wisdoms with each soul house. So if you missed any of those teachings, please go back. Go to my Facebook page, click on the button below the main image, it's called About, and scroll down until you see videos, and you can see some of the past videos there. And if you enjoyed it, hit the share button. Now also, um, with each of these soul houses that we are working on, understanding and doing practices with, what in essence we are doing is we're clearing a channel. The entirety of this 10 package series, this 10 teaching series, each one of the seven soul houses, the Waija, the uh, energy and matter channel, that's a total of 10 separate teachings, 10 separate practices. These are all collectively called the Tao Soul Song Channel. Another verbiage for them is the energy and matter channel. Okay? You'll hear a variety of verbiages for them, but in essence, they're all about clearing the channel which connects you to heaven and earth. Each of the seven soul houses, if they have a blockage in any one of those, could impact the entirety of all of them. 
and it could absolutely impact the direct associations. So I just gave you examples of some of the direct associations. Uh, the heart, another direct associa association, is depression and anxiety, or actually heart conditions. We're talking about the heart message center, which is not the heart, but absolutely it would impact the heart. It also impacts the lungs. And so there's um, each center has these direct impacts. So that is the value of doing this practice. Now, if you don't already have this book or this audio book, I do recommend it. In the back of this book is a uh, DVD, <clears throat> and it has Master Shah chanting with you the seven soul houses, one by one, the same practice that we're doing today. And when you do the practice with Master Shah, the frequency and vibration, naturally, of doing it with him, his voice, his power, causes a significant difference in your practice. And it's a 45-minute DVD with an additional 15 minutes of doing soul song and dance uh, with Master Ellie for the purposes of moving the energy through the seven soul houses. So welcome, Pat. Welcome, Amy. Welcome, Angela. Donna Wilkinson. Welcome, Gloria. Great to see you all. Thank you so much for joining me. I, I'm guessing uh, some others have joined. I'm sorry if I haven't seen you yet. I know Kristen Rojas is usually here. She might be busy today. But I'm so happy to have you all here with me. brings me such great joy. Um, so now we will discuss the power and significance of the fifth soul house. Um, but I want to first let us connect. So place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position with the left hand over the message center and the right hand gently pointed towards heaven. <clears throat> Close your eyes. Bring your thoughts and your breath into your lower abdomen. And let us connect. Dear Divine, dear Tao, dear Source, dear Master Shah and Master Shah's original soul, all layers of all committees in heaven and beyond. Dear our individual heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints. Dear Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Jesus, Mother Mary. Uh, dear all Lamas, Sifus, Gurus, Saints. Masters and Ascended Masters, Angels, Healing Angels, Archangels. We love you, honor you, respect you, and I personally bow down to you with the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your light. We thank you for your blessings, your life-saving blessings. We ask if you have time, if you would please join us. Come to sit in our fifth soul house today helping us to clear the Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages as we do the practices through this day. Bless us to further empower all of our soul houses, further clear the blockages in all of our soul houses, and bless us to align to the wisdom and teachings that has been brought forth by Dr. and Master Shah. We're very, very, very humbled and honored and grateful. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, transmitted to all souls, in all universes. We love you, Ani, respect you. We ask you to please turn on and we invite all souls to join with us in offering this service of chanting love, peace, and harmony to serve humanity unconditionally. So let us chant love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, la, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. O I, O Xian, her ling. O I, Tron, and lay. Wong Ling Rong Hermus Xiong Xiong Ai Ping On Hesi Xiong Ai Ping On Hesi I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, 
and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula. Oh, I was in Harling. Oh, I turned and lay. Wang Ling Rung, her her musher song. Song I ping on her sing. Song I ping on her sing. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So thank you all for joining today. <clears throat> and welcome uh, Cheryl, Healing Ray. I want to start by offering you all a blessing from Master Shah. In the Tao Song Tao Dance book, in fact in all of Master Shah's books, uh, starting with, uh, with I believe, what's the first book? I think it was Soul Communication, possibly before Soul Communication. He started offering the downloads and treasures. Soul transplants, mind transplants, body transplants. And these were at the divine level. And as Master Shah grew, he received authority to offer blessings at a higher level through his books. <clears throat> if you do not have his books, go to your local library. They will have them. They will have at least four or five of them, possibly more. <clears throat> you can check them out, but you don't need to. Just open his books and go to the dark bolded sections. In the dark bolded sections, there are healing transmissions. <clears throat> Thank you, Gloria. Soul power. I knew that that was the correct answer, but the name wasn't coming to me. I knew you'd, you'd chime in and offer me that. Thank you, Gloria. Um, so when Master Shah uh, puts power into the books, these are not small things. It's very important that you understand when you receive a transmission, a soul, mind, body transplant, whether it's from a book or through a divine channel, Master Shah is a divine channel, it is something that Every saint in heaven does not have, unless Master Shah gave it to them. Saints in heaven would, 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 would serve 100 lifetimes as one of the highest monks, and the amount of light that gathers in their jong, in their core of their body, would still be about the size of a grain of rice. Possibly if they worked really hard, it might get to the size of a marble. If they were incredibly special, maybe it'd get to the size of an apple. Okay? And that's with 100 lifetimes. One transmission from his book gives you a jindan, a light ball that size, in your body, and it's there forever. And we take it so much for granted, but that one light ball would take a saint a thousand lifetimes, a hundred lifetimes. So many saints in heaven, Master Shah has said this, they're not jealous because that would be an inappropriate response, but they're definitely wishing that they had made the choice to come to earth. So those that are here at this time are going through extreme difficulties, all kinds of testing, physical suffering, emotional suffering, you name it, relationship suffering, financial suffering, the list goes on. It's the hardest time to be here because it's the highest time to raise our soul standing. Those who, who, who process through all of the suffering, those that, that move towards joy and light and forgive and forgive and forgive, ask for forgiveness all the time. Those who apply the practices, those who receive the downloads and transmissions, including the free ones in his books, when they return to heaven, <clears throat> their standing 
would be as if they worked like a monk, the highest monk, for 100 lifetimes or more. And you did it all in one lifetime. That's why this lifetime is so tough, because it's a very, very special time on Earth. Master Shah has talked about this. So why are we doing the seven soul houses, the Wai Jiao and the Dao Song channel? It's the third higher, highest places where karma resides in our body. We have our personal karma, our ancestral karma, and the seven soul house karma. In that order, those are the highest three karmas. So by doing these practices every day, not just with me on this video, find Master Shah's videos on it. Get this book, Dao Song Dao Dance. Get the DVD in the back. Play the music. Play the video with him. Do the video with him. <clears throat> and when you practice every day, what in essence you're doing is you're clearing your personal and your ancestral karma that resides through your whole body, but a lot of it resides in the seven soul houses. Okay? So, I'm going to now offer a blessing to you of one of Master Shah's transmissions in the book. And I'm going to read you what he says first about the power of these transmissions before I offer it. <clears throat> In order to emphasize the power of the blessings you are about to receive, I'm going to read the value of it first. Dao soul mind body transplants carry Dao frequency and vibration, which transforms the v frequency and vibration of all life. He did not say of your life, he said of all life. That means you receive this, you can serve others. Dao soul mind body transplants carry Dao love, which melts all blockages and transforms all life. You've heard this a million times before. Why does love melt everything? Because everything comes from that 100% perfection. If you're not at that 100% perfection, you're at 70%, 50%, 60%. That's your human level. You bring this level of love and it starts melting everything that is insufficient, everything that is below that, and starts raising its frequency. That's why Tao love, Tao light, Tao forgiveness, and Tao compassion work. Tao so mind body transplants carry Tao forgiveness, which brings inner peace and inner joy. Tao so mind body transplants carries, carries Tao compassion, which boosts your energy, energy, stamina, vitality, and immunity. Again, you've heard the words if you listen to Master Shah before. But go to a deeper understanding. It's not divine level, it's Tao level, which is substantially higher frequency. <clears throat> and the reason it brings immunity, vitality, stamina, is because it's clearing the Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages. You starting to put the pieces together? So, then he says, Tao so my body transplants carry Tao light, which prevents sickness, purifies and rejuvenates soul, heart, mind, and body, and transforms relationships, finances, intelligence, and more, and brings success to every aspect of life. Welcome, Liz. Welcome, Tina. Great to see you both. <clears throat> we deeply appreciate Tao Soul Mind Body Transplants. We cannot honor Tao Soul Mind Body Transplants enough. We are extremely grateful for this honor. Words simply cannot express enough our greatest honor to receive something that all the heaven saints simply cannot get. They cannot have it. They, unless Master Shah gives them an order to give it to them, they cannot receive it. So you are very blessed. Prepare. Sit up straight. <clears throat> Where you are at, bring your back away from the back of the chair. Touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth, feet flat on the floor. Place your mind in your lower abdomen. If you watch this video at a later time or at this time and this is not something you wish to receive, just tell heaven, I'm not ready to receive this at this time. Dear Master Shah, find our source. I'm honored to be a worldwide representative. I ask that you please offer this blessing through your book, through the authority given to me as your divine channel. Dao order, Dao golden light bulb, Dao Golden Liquid Spring of Dao Song of Dao Love, Peace and Harmony, Soul, Mind, Body, Transplants. To everybody watching this video now and in the future, as appropriate, Transmission. Dao order, join Dao song of Dao love, peace and harmony, so my body transplants as one. 
you are extremely blessed, humanity is extremely blessed. Okay. Everybody repeat after me. Dear my Tao song of Tao love, peace and harmony transplants that I have just received through a master shop. I love you, honor you and appreciate you. Please turn on. Please radiate to my fifth soul house. Help me to clear the Shen, Qi and Jing blockages in my fifth soul house now and while I am chanting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I will read you the quick description of the power and significance of the fifth soul house. The fifth soul house is a fist sized space located in the center of your body and the center of your throat. So right in the center, fist sized soul house. The fifth soul house is the key for healing and rejuvenation of the thyroid, the vocal cords, and the throat. It is also the sacred powerhouse for developing willpower and for developing Tao Song of overtones and voice range from lowest to highest. It is an area in which significant blockage can occur between the sixth soul house, the seventh soul house, and the message center because it has to go through the fifth soul house to, be, to ha the heaven has to give us messages through the fifth soul house to get to the heart. So if we have blockages in the fifth or the sixth soul house, then it can absolutely negatively impact our service. If we have blockages in willpower, the inability or lack of desire to do service, to, to even to just go out and, and see people, the willpower to do laundry, anything, then this is where a big aspect of those blockages are. The thyroid is very, very related to the hormones and the hormonal distribution of our body as well as to the immune system. And so when we uh, bring healing to this area, we are bringing balance to our emotions, our hormones, and our immunity. There are key lymph nodes in this area as well. <clears throat> so it helps to clear those blockages as well. The area in the throat tends to be where we have the majority of our vascular restrictions where uh, we get tight neck, tight muscles, and this reduces the amount of oxygenation to the brain. And so when we work with the fifth soul house, the Shen Qi and Jing blockages will naturally cause the energy and matter throughout the entire neck area to release any of the uh, inflammation that is occurring. And that will, in essence, allow for a better blood flow, better chi flow, higher levels of uh, energy, higher levels of oxygenation. So these are some examples of the power and the significance of chanting for the fifth soul house. <clears throat> okay. Body power. One hand gently cupped over our throat. There's a space probably about this big between the palm of your hand and your throat. So no need to, 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 uh, to uh, push it right up against your skin. Other hand goes down to your lower abdomen. <clears throat> this is your body power. Sound power is she, as in the, 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 the spelling is X-I. The pronunciation is like she. She is going to the store. She. She ya. She ya yo dao. She ya yo dao. Now, uh, for those of you that are new, Master Shah has five verses. Shi Yayo Dao, Shi Yayo Zhong, Z H O N G, Zhong, Shi Yayo Ling, L I N G, Shi Yayo Shi, X U, and Shi Yayo Kong, K O N G. Shi Yayo Dao is connected to Dao. Shi Yayo Zhong is the core of your body. Shi Yayo Ling, Ling is soul. Shu, Shi Yayo Shu is emptiness. And Kong, K O N G, is uh, uh, complete emptiness. And so when we chant each section, I will eventually change that last word. Go into higher layers of emptiness, higher layers of focus. Mind power. Visualize golden or rainbow light in the entirety of the throat area. Soul power. 
Repeat after me. <clears throat> Dear the soul of my throat chakra, fifth soul house, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. You have the ability to heal yourself, to balance my thyroid, to clear blockages in my vocal cords. It is, uh, Pat, I see your spelling. It's actually spelled in Master Shaw's books, X-I, instead of Z-Y, Z-H-I. Dear the soul of my fifth soul house, you have the ability to increase my willpower. You have the ability to release Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages in my physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual bodies for this area. Do a good job. Thank you. Continue. Dear all the souls that we have invited in, the soul of my transmission, Tao Song for love, peace, harmony. Or, Please turn on. Continue to bless my fifth soul house. And there's additional uh, blessings you can offer to your fifth soul house. And you can ask every one of the transmissions you've received from Master Shah to bless your fifth soul house. So repeat. They're all my downloads and treasures. Please turn on. Please come to sit in my fifth soul house. Bless, heal, and boost power to this area. So it's like bringing all these suns, these incredible suns, these light balls you've received in your body, all to this one area, helping you. So that's your soul power. So let's put our hand in the appropriate body position, one hand over the throat chakra, the other hand over your lower abdomen. <clears throat> Close your eyes, visualizing the golden light or rainbow light in this area. Let us chant. Shi ayo dao, 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 shi ayo dao. Shi ya yo da, 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 Shi ya yo da. Shi ya yo dao, 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 Shi ya yo dao. Shi ya yo dao, 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 shi ya yo dao. Shi ya yo da, Shi ya yo da, Shi ya yo da. <coughs> now we will chant Shi ya yo jong, keeping your visualization on your throat chakra. Continue. Shi ya yo jong, Shi ya yo jong. Shi ya yo jong, 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 Shi ya. Yo jong, 
Shiyayo Jong 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 Shiyayo Ling Ling means soul Continue focusing on your throat chakra Shiyayo Ling Shiyayo Ling Shia yo ling, 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 Shia yo ling. Shi ya yo ling, 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 Shi ya yo. Silently continue to chant, and I will offer a flow as to what is happening. Shia Yo Ling, continue to chant silently. <coughs> At this time, for each of you, there is a soft ball-sized golden ball in each of your throat chakras. This ball is quite shiny. It has been releasing blockages specific to the thyroid. It has shot up into the brain area and cleared blockages along the pathway to the sixth soul house. It has shot down to the heart message center, heart chakra. And there are for most of you a great deal of blockages between the fourth and the sixth soul house. This golden ball pulsates like an orb that occasionally shoots out solar flares, if you will, zapping the blockages that are along the path. For this chanting, it is very important to chant the mantra He Hung Hong Ar Shi Yi Wong Yo. Especially each time you do these practices, because for many of you, a lot of the blockages that are not being addressed is in between the soul houses. There are quite a few of you that resonate and recognize there is willpower imbalances. And that is being addressed on a unique level. The golden light ball offers a new message, a message of love, a message of service. This message carries with it a frequency that transforms the I don't know how, the I'm not sure if I can, 
the I don't want to do it now message that is present for a lot of you. This new message is slowly weeding out the roots of these older unvaluable messages that have found their way into this energy center. Continued chanting and blessing for this area could have significant differences for everyone and it would be wise to do so for your long-term health and well-being. How? Let us continue to chant. Shia yo shi. 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 Shia yo kong. 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 Continue to visualize the gold and a rainbow light in your throat chakra. Dear all Divine Healing Hands Soul Healers, please offer a blessing at this time. Repeat after me. Dear my Divine Healing Hands, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Can you please turn on? Please offer a blessing to all those that are watching this video at this time on the live stream. Please, as appropriate, offer a blessing to all those that are watching for their fifth soul house. If it is not appropriate, then please do not offer. And then each of the divine healing hands, please state your silent statement that you have been taught to state about offering a healing. You can do that where you are at. And then continue to offer as we continue to chant. <coughs> Shia yo kong, 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 Shia yo kong. Shia yo kong, Shia yo kong, 
Shi ya yo kong, Shi ya yo kong, Shi ya yo kong, Shi ya yo kong. Divine healing hands, divine healing hands, divine healing hands, divine healing hands. Divine healing hands, divine healing hands, divine healing hands. Everybody visualize God's hands on both sides of your neck and throat area, healing and blessing you. Divine healing hands, divine healing hands, divine healing hands. Divine healing hands, 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 divine healing hands. Divine healing hands, divine healing hands. All divine healing hands healers, please ask your treasure to return. <clears throat> and check into your body. Everybody check in. What are you feeling? What are your sensations? Do you notice any vibration in your throat area? Itchiness, heat, warmth, sensations. You notice any clearing in your message center or in your thinking? <sniffs> what do you notice and what would you like to share? Well, I noticed that um, as soon as we turned on the divine healing hands, I felt a significant shift in frequency. And uh, what I noticed right away was that my teeth started hurting, which is always in relation to a shift in frequency. That's how I know uh, when the power is ramped up. Is uh, they don't hurt a lot. It's just like a little, just like a you know, like a little alarm system that goes off. So, oh, that's uh, that's uh, really good to know that there's a significant difference happening at this time <clears throat> as the different healers turn on their treasures. So please share. I know that as I'm looking through all of the people here that. Um, <sighs> Well, well over half of us have divine healing hands, so everybody is very, very blessed in this receiving. Jennifer says, I notice I'm singing more on key. <laughs> Best singing she's ever done. Congratulations. That's a beautiful sharing. Uh, very possibly because of the Tao love, peace, harmony uh, transmission, because that specifically is uh, in this book to help us to clear the Tao soul song channel. Even though Master Shah refers to it as a Tao Soul Song channel, um, <clears throat> it is truly a, a significant channel for transforming the energy and matter, uh, creation, reverse creation, and also healing and rejuvenation. So I'll talk more about this, but I'll give you a little additional teaching now. The energy channel runs from the base uh, center, the first soul house, through the other seven centers in the center of the body, up to the top of the head and then back down in front of the spine. This is called the energy channel. This is a healing channel. So when we chant for that direction, we are receiving healing. The matter, cha the, uh, matter channel runs the other direction, which is from the first soul house, not in front of the spine. It actually goes to two invisible holes in the spine. And this is what Master Shah uh, received in the, in the higher level teachings. Um, about these invisible, invisible energy holes. And so it goes through these two holes, through the spinal cord and column, and then up to the top of the head and back down. There's actually different channels. One is the rejuvenation channel. That's the one going up through the back of the spine, top of the head, back down. So that's for rejuvenation, getting younger. Okay? The other one is for healing energy. And that's the one that goes through the body, top of the head, and back down in front of the spine. We'll do a little bit more teaching on that as we go. Uh, coming up, and uh, probably Thursday or Friday, 
uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'll be teaching on those. <coughs> and so, um, Suki has shared countless bow downs, Master. Uh, thank you very much, Suki, for joining. I didn't see you earlier. I would have acknowledged you. Also, same to you, Jagmeet. Thank you both for joining. Uh, from, I believe, Jagmeet is from India. I think Suki is also. So it's very early over there. They just woke up. Um, thank you, Monica. She feels clarity and divine love. Also beautiful, subtle energy on her fifth soul house. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, this is actually my, my I'm now feeling some itchiness there. And uh, my uh, uh, sixth chakra is, is, is actually resonating out this direction. It's going sideways. It's like uh, radiating, radiating out like an itchiness upon the completion of this practice. And even my crown is opening up a little bit right now. <coughs> so it's a reflection of whether you feel it or whether you don't. It doesn't really matter. It always works. And if you don't feel it, it simply means that the Shen Xianjing blockages need a bit more attention. It means you need to chant more. It means you need to serve more. If you're suffering, each one of the soul houses uh, often has a relationship to the emotions, especially the lower ones. So if you have great anger, great fear, great depression or anxiety, then it's, there's obviously imbalances in the uh, second, third and fourth uh, energy centers, soul houses, and also for the specific organs. And so you do want to go back to my videos on the five elements and uh, the other soul houses and practice those. Um, or practice with Master Shah. So certainly practice with him and his videos that are online. His frequency is dramatically higher. And uh, whenever you have a chance to practice with him on any of his videos, it makes a lot of sense. And when you do it consistently, which is really the key, then what happens is you become more and more and more emotionally balanced. And the associated organ or system becomes stronger, stronger, stronger. And then when an event occurs that would normally knock you off your rocker, you're able to handle it with a lot more um, balance and, um, and repose. And you're able to, <clears throat> to bring yourself to it with greater clarity of thought. You're able to not let it drag you down for weeks at a time. You can rebound much, much faster. That's because you took the time to clear the blockages by using the higher frequencies that come with these transmissions and the higher frequencies that Master Shah has brought to earth. So all of his teachings are about heal the soul first and the mind and body follows. That is what we're doing. I gave an explanation for those of you that watched when I was doing a, a soul operation for the fourth soul house. <clears throat> and, um, and it was a newer student, so he didn't really understand you know, he thought I was doing healing on his physical body because he felt the result in his physical body. And I explained to him, no, that's not what soul healing is. Your soul carries forth all the karma on it in all lifetimes. The soul lives forever. And the physical body is like a mirror image. It reflects all the tarnishes. It reflects all the imbalances and the, the, uh, the negative and positive karma that sits at the soul level. You're a mirror image of it, and so if you have suffering in your knee, at the soul level, that's where pain had been caused upon others. Same thing with the neck, same with the emotion of anxiety, same with the emotion of fear or depression. So when you start to really grasp it, that all of these physical world sufferings are laying at the soul level, they're, they're sitting on our soul entity um, first and foremost. So when we heal at that level first, that's why our physical body shifts. That's why it's so necessary to apply divine love, divine light, divine forgiveness, divine compassion, or Tao love, Tao light, Tao forgiveness, Tao compassion, because they carry frequencies higher than your soul's frequency. Therefore, they can clear those blockages. And they'll clear them a little bit at a time. And what speeds that up, of course, is the forgiveness. So quick reminder to everybody, I am offering soul operations for each of the seven soul houses, the Wai Jiao and the Dao Soul Song channel. They're uh, fifty dollars per uh, soul house. Uh, if you do all ten, then instead of ten times fifty, which would be five hundred, which is already reduced, then I bring it down to three hundred. So the normal honor fee for any soul operation is seventy-five. You can go to my website and see that. By the way, go to my website. I just put up a brand new one today. I'm very excited. Uh, I want my ego to be fluffed up a little bit. It's a beautiful website, Paul. I'm so happy. Beautiful gentleman out of India helped me out with it. 
So um, I want to thank all of you for coming today. Please, if you've enjoyed this, make sure you share it. If you're interested in receiving the soil operations or you need more questions to be answered around that, I'm happy to serve you. Uh, I will be back tomorrow teaching on the sixth soul house, which is associated with the third eye. It is not the third eye, but it is associated with the third eye. <clears throat> and we'll do practices for that and any of the blockages there tomorrow. So make sure you share and tell other people about that. And until then, we'll see you. Bye-bye. Love you, love you, love you.